Turn in your chin and listen to it punk. To our nation's call, every rubber ball goes to conquer freedom's fall. Freedom's fall. Freedom's a fall. Well, freedom's fall. We're in to win. Our draft is in. So to victory, let's go. Tin cans, pails, snails, empty scale, fat hats, rubber mats, missing legs, kitchen sinks, garbage cans, electric fans, rubber boots, bathing suits, reels, wheels, run down heels, bed, springs, piston rings, metal shears, old tin ears. <whistles> Tires, chains, water mains, skates, plates, furnace rakes, pitching forts, rubber cars, sacks, racks, railroad tracks, clothes, holes, fiddle bowls, plugs, lugs, bathroom rugs, car keys, house made these, rubber bands, birdcage sands, metal slips, pillow slips, rocks, slides, grandpa clocks. And that's why we're in.
been through. Oh, what I'd give for a can of spinach now. Shame, Daffy. Shame. Creak, 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 Uncle Dillingham duck. Did I cry spinach when I stood a duck on Plymouth Rock? Did I in Washington give up with their limp old gin hog? Did Dan O'Bull and me quite quits when Indian saved our scalp? Did John Paul Duck give up the ship or ever holler help? Hey, Daffy, Americans don't give up. No, Daffy, Americans. right? And I'm an American! Duck! Up there in the sky! It's a bird! No, it's a plane! No! Or pillar of, uh, oh, put some gas in it. What's the hurry, young feller? I'm going out to gig for gold, or don't forget, or gill for dear. Oh, fiddly dee, I'm going out to dig for gold. Gold? <laughs> don't make me laugh. Why, there ain't no more gold in them hills than there is in a hound dog's tooth. Listen, son, I've dug for gold in every corner of the world. Why, I remember back in 1849. Of course, I was just a little...
Oh, shucks. Just wasting your time, son. Why, I wouldn't go on one of them wild goose chases for all the gold in the world. No siree, Bob. They found gold in the gulch. Gold? Whoopee! You can have the station. The typical American farm presents many interesting sights. This show horse is the pride of the farm and the winner of many blue ribbons. He is trained to perform in every game. First, let's see you do a trot. Now the gallop. That's fine. Now do a canter. Oh, I'm happy about the whole thing. The way that you walk, the way that you talk. Hey, hey. That's enough of that. 
Here we find the farmer's faithful old watchdog. Though he is no longer very active, he still does a few little odd jobs around the house. One of his chores is to fetch the newspaper. Oh, there's the paper now. I can hardly wait to see what happened to Dick Tracy. Here is a group of cute little piggies playing in the mud. Well, what are they up to? They seem fascinated by that clock. Oh, well. Here's the proud mother hen, carefully watching over her eggs, anxiously awaiting the eventful day. What a happy little family this will be. What's this? A weasel, the ruthless thief of the barnyard, watching his chance to sneak in and steal those defenseless little eggs. He draws closer, and closer, and closer. the tree trunk. Here's an interesting sight. A young couple laboriously building their nest with a bit of string from here and a piece of straw from there. A little twig, a bit of string, Piece of straw, a little twig, a bit of string, piece of straw, a little twig, bit of string, piece of straw, a little twig, string, straw, twig, string, draw, twig, string, draw, twig, string, draw, twig. At the edge of the woods, field mice make their home. Here we see one of the most common types. Say, he seems to be a bit worse. fellow, what seems to be troubling you? I don't know, Doc. I, I just keep hearing things. Even the tiniest of insects, such as the ants, have a language all their own. Emerging from the opening comes a female of the species. If you listen very closely, you can hear her calling to her young. Coming, mother. The modern farm is conducted on a business like... Well, here are those little piggies again. Say, piggies, why don't you go off and play? yourself. Here is one of the strangest friendships that has ever been known. Natural enemies, yet living together as friends. A cat and a mouse. Tell me, is it true that the cat takes good care of you? And keeps you nice and warm? friendship. Now, before we leave you, is there anything that you would like to say to your friends in the audience? Get me out of here! And so, as
as the day draws to a close and the sun sinks slowly in the west, we reluctantly take our leave of the farm. Well, the piggies again. Are they going to stay there all night? What in the world can the attraction be?
there. Oh, so, oh, we are having our salesman for dinner, please. A man? Bring him in. Get uh, indigestion. Uh, hope, 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 hope. 